Hello and welcome to Anna's Crafty of All. I'm Anna. Today I'd like to bring you the 10 yarn questions which originally was put forward by Crystal from Bag o Day. I'm sure you, everyone knows Crystal from Bag o Day. And I was tagged by Rel from the Dabbling Hook, and I'll put her links down below. So we'll get straight into it. Um, I've got the questions here from Bag o Day, which was Crystal's questions that she's put through. And um, we'll start with number one. So I've got them printed here, <laughs> so that's why I'm looking down. I might put them here. So I've got the questions here. Okay, so the first one was, what's your favourite colour of yarn? And like many others, my favourite colour of yarn is purple. And I do like purples into the maroons and almost pinks. And I brought some here to show you some of the colours that I like. So this is more of a true purple and that's more of a rosy pink. And also these, this kind of blends. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And all variants within that. Uh, what's your favourite yarn weight? Um, recently I've been working with a lot of um, fingering weight yarn and the next one up which I think is sports or sports weight. So I've been working with a lot of that and I do quite enjoy that whether I'm knitting or crocheting. And also I've been using um, DK weight which for us would be the equivalent of eight ply. And um, that's quite common here in Australia, um, uh, eight ply, which is like this one here. Uh, that's an eight ply yarn. And I think that's classed as a three, possibly, lightweight three. So that's quite common and, and, and easily available. But hang on, that's another question. <laughs> so what style of yarn? I do like a twist type yarn. Um, majority of the ones that I have here to show you, it's a twisted ply. I do like that. Um, also uh, on another project, which I'm going to be showing in uh, probably the next video, I'm using a chainette yarn and it's the first time that I've actually used a chainette yarn. It was a knit crate yarn and um, I'm knitting, uh, sorry, I'm crocheting uh, something with that, which I'll show you in the next video. Uh, what is my favourite favourite fibre for yarn? Um, I do love acrylic because of its um, usefulness. Um, obviously, it's quite economical, and it's you know it's really wearable kind of an item, uh, kind of a fibre. Uh, but I do like wool and wool blends. Um, uh, been using a, a wool, I think it's wool, silk, and alpaca blend and it is absolutely the most luscious soft yarn it's beautiful but again you can also find some really nice soft acrylics like these ones that I have here these are from our uh, spotlight store and it's Motivera Starlight and it is super super soft this is um, oh, it's a hundred uh, sorry 95% premium acrylic and a polyester blend and they're also super, super soft. You wouldn't, you wouldn't um, notice a difference if, you, if someone said to you, is this actually wool, sheep's wool? You could say yes, because it is very, very soft, just like it, like a merino type wool. Uh, favorite brand of yarn is the, this one. <laughs> this is my favorite. I love it how it's got that little bit of glitter, which you can probably just see here, a little bit of glitter in there. Probably see it better on these ones. There's a little bit of glitter in there and it just makes it a little bit more special. I made quite a few of um, Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet. She brought out a pattern for Starshine and I made a quite a few of the little Starshines. I'll put a picture in here showing you. using a lot of these yarns and they just turned out so so nice um, what is your favorite brand of yarn that is easily available within your country again this this is here we're in Australia 
spotlight very easily accessible uh, whether you buy it in store or whether you buy it uh, online unfortunately though where i live and where i've been living here for the past three nearly four years we don't have um, very many um, yarn shops or spotlight stores so it's for me it's it's online um let me see um favorite yarn oh there we go favorite yarn store um online would be as a general big box yarn store would be spotlight carries a variety of brands it has some limited um lime brand caron uh for the other well-known ones um but majority of their yarns are very good very good quality and favorite brick and mortar store um well, I do like going into uh, spotlight stores. However, it is um, quite far. We need to travel probably close to two hours before we can get to a spotlight store. So um, for me, I just discovered a little yarn shop, local yarn shop. And they half of the shop is everything to do with yarn. Um, they even have some crocheted art items, some knitted items on display, which I was in there this afternoon and... Oh, beautiful things and the other half of half of that shop has um beautiful like um, tea sets um ornaments paperweights um sort of like kitchenware something that you know have a something that you have next to you anyway <laughs> the the shop is called will be loved um i'll put um if i can find a link for it i'll put something down in the de description box below so that's will it be loved um do you keep scrap yarn if so what do you do with it I, I do keep scrap yarn the really tiny tiny pieces like small pieces like this i i don't but anything that um for example can use um because i'm working on another project making little hexagons and they're only three or four rounds so they're only about you know that big not very big um, and some of those the centers I've used the smaller scraps of yarn um, just to make use of that and that's uh, like this it's like this sort of yarn where it's all just variegated all different colors uh, what's your favorite thing to crochet or knit oh that's uh, that's a hard question so I can give it to you in two answers so crochet I really like to crochet shawls because I think the um, just the versatility of the stitch you can just you can create any shape or form using crochet and for knitting I really like knitting socks which I've only just learned how to knit socks um, just before Christmas actually um, and finally for the tenth question it is if you could crochet knit one last thing for the rest of your life what would it be and what yarn would I use Okay, I would probably make a, uh, like a granny square blanket, um, but using all different um, designs, um, because that's something that, you know, you could make it as big as you want, and it would make the experience last a lot longer. And also, um, I would use, I think I would use a variety of acrylic yarn, because then I know that it's going to be something that's going to be long lasting, and it'll probably outlast me. <laughs> so they're, they're the three um sorry the 10 <laughs> questions that um we've gone over today which was the bag a day yarn questions and i would like to tag hmm, let me see who am i going to tag i'll have to have a little think about that so i would like to tag jennifer from cinnamon stitches and i'll put a link to her channel below I would like, like to also tag Shell from Shell Shell Crochet. And also I'd like to tag Charlene, Charlene from Crochet Corner. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. And come on back for more because I have um, some new videos coming up shortly. Thank you very much. Take care everyone. Bye-bye. originally from okay. <laughs> oh tongue-tied